The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. The trinomial in this problem is in the same form as the one in the previous example. You've got an x squared term, an x term, and a constant term. So you can try to factor it in the same way as the product of two binomials. The way you do that is by setting up two sets of parentheses that will contain your two binomials. The first term in each binomial will be a factor of x squared. Since x squared factors x times x, we're going to use an x as the first term in each binomial. To fill the second position in each binomial, you're going to use factors of 28 that add to negative 11. So how do you get factors of a positive number that add to a negative number? Well 28 for instance can be thought of as 28 times 1 but it can also be thought of as negative 28 times negative 1. Remember that a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Other options would then be negative 14 times negative 2 and negative 7 times negative 4. So which pair of factors adds to negative 11? The negative 7 and the negative 4. So we're going to use those in our two binomials. And that's our answer. Remember that if your middle term is negative and your constant term is positive, you're going to use the negative factors of your constant term for your two binomials.